So, Crunchy Black did an interview, right? Oh, I forgot which one it was on the glove or something like the porch, off the porch. I watch that channel all the time. I can't believe I don't even know the name. That's how you know you a lit channel. Motherfuckers don't know the name, but they know your product. They don't know the name, but they know the product. Now I was I watched the full interview of Crunchy Black doing it, right? The only reason I'm making a video because the bloggers picked up what I picked up on. And I'm trying to do my job as a journalist the right way. Y'all probably like, what did Country Black do now? In that interview, Country Black started giving love to Memphis rappers. He said, the reason why Memphis run hip-hop because we some real street niggas. Everybody's a gangster and real. So he started talking about Pooh Shiesty Case. He gets to talking about Shiesty Case. And he talking about, Shiesty did that robbery. No, that was him. And the interviewer is trying to help him out so he can change his answer. He's like, no, that was him. That was... But mind I tell you, Crunchy Black is a dude that likes sipping like me. And you know, when you drink, you tell the truth too much. But now Country Black, he goes in a statement and say that. And I'm thinking in my head, damn, Black, these niggas going to go off on you. But I'm not thinking no police shit and I'm going to explain why. I'm just thinking about you niggas and the bloggers. Country Black... Knows he's educated and smart, so he finishes it off with, I can say what I want to say. They can't use my word against Pooh Shiesty in court. I could be lying, and he's right. How can you use what Country Black says on an interview against Pooh Shiesty? They're not homies like that. Just because a nigga from your city don't mean they can. Bro, you will be a stupid prosecutor to take that information and be like, this is the evidence we got. Aha. Uh -huh. Nigga, you fucked up your whole case if you that dumb and you use that. Y'all need to wake up. No, that's not self-snitching, dry snitching. You can't use that against Shiesty. Country Black was nowhere in place in time of the vicinity of that. We all can make our own perceptions of who we think. Number one, I seen the videotape. Shout out to Urban Politics. I like what he said too. When he watched the tape, I can't make who's who. I, I watched that tape even the day it happened last year in 2020. Bro, I can't make out who's who on that video. Country Black is not saying it to tell on. Was it a little bit? Damn, Black, you shouldn't have said it. I could give y'all that. I could give y'all that one. But was it in a way of him trying to get Shiesty and trouble, man, fall back from it? Now, Big 30, which is Pooh Shiesty, homie, brother, all that shit. Big 30 responds. Big 30 responds with the quickness and like, what the fuck? You know, basically saying, what, 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 what weird shit you doing out here, gang? And you can tell the way Big 30 responded. If it was another rapper and not Crunchy Black... Big 30 would have violated educational purpose. But being that he's country black and somewhat of a legend to these niggas, but Big 30 like basically put it out there like, he ain't a legend to me, but I'm going to be respectful, but you tweaking, nigga. That's the way Big 30 put it out. So Big 30 ain't cool with it. And, I, and the way he wrote it, you could tell 30's going to sit on this one right here. I feel like all you niggas need to listen to country black. Was it weird in the way he said it? Yes. I ain't here to defend that type of shit. But it's not like he didn't clarify it and say you can't use it in court because they don't know if I'm telling the truth or lying. It's like when I say educational purpose. Not, nothing that I say on this, the alphabet boys can use in court because this can be deemed as entertainment purpose only. That's why I do it that way. You would be a dumb DA district attorney to take this to the magistrate and be like, this is our evidence. And then, then I'm say, get the fuck out of my office. Big facts. You're going to make a nigga get an acquittal, an easy win. Oh, let me acquit this man case right quick, man. He went automatically for the stupidness of this attorney. Nigga, you can't use that, bruh. You niggas call everybody a rat is what fucked up the world. That's what made every other rat Mickey Mouse dude be comfortable here. Y'all done watered and saturated what a real snitch is. Now the point is, maybe if a girlfriend arguing with her boyfriend, she gonna call him a snitch because they arguing. It's like snitch is the new cuss word of fuck you now. Instead of saying F you nigga, just say, oh snitch. Snitch, 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 snitch. Like goddamn gang. You got to slow down with that, bro. You disrespecting a real nigga's name, bro. Crunchy Black is a real one, bro. And all you young niggas in the game, I'm going to say it like that. You niggas don't know who this nigga is. Fall the fuck back, bro. That shit don't work with real ones like us. Oh, Crunchy Black, he snitched on Pooh Shiesty. He snitched. Hey, man, po number one, Pooh Shiesty got his ass in that fucking situation. Big facts. And I'm going to be a real nigga and be like, allegedly, we hope Pooh Shiesty is free. But fall the fuck back. Crunchy didn't put that man in the hot water he in. Y'all ain't gonna change the narrative from dumbass rappers getting in some dumbass shit. Mm, you got the nerve to call this man the legend a snitch. Man, when I seen Crunchy Black, 
cried for Lord Infamous on the Beehive ATL radio show. That's a real nigga right there. He let it out for his homie. A real nigga right there, bruh. A real nigga right there. And all you niggas popping out the woodwork. Country Black out here snitching. Yeah, who he snitched on, gang? That man ain't told on nobody. You niggas put that snitch jacket on. Everybody, but that shit starting to look spooky, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. You niggas put that jacket on. Everybody you don't like. And, and am I lying, y'all? Normally, it should be on a nigga that you were close to and like, it hurt me to do this, but this nigga's a rat. No, it's always somebody they don't like that they call in a rat. Like, oh, uh, this nigga's a rat, and no, nah, we ain't cool with each other. Who would have thought? Rest in peace to Paul Mooney, man. You write about these plagiarized, fake-ass niggas, bro. Crunchy Black didn't say nothing in that interview should make you call him a snitch. Now, did he say things to make you look at him where, like, why his dogs didn't, you know, tap him up a little, hey, nah, chill a little bit. And that's the respect he command, too, because you seen the guys... Watching the interview, they were in the background. They felt a little bit uncomfortable, but they were laughing about it like, hey, that's just crunchy. We know he giving love. He may have said too much. When we drink, we all guilty. I could understand if 30 and them boys were like, hey, chill, old Tommy. Like, you saying too much. Shit like that would have been cool. But to send threats or anything like that, I think we need to fall back from that. It ain't validated enough to be tweaking out here for that. Courts can't use nothing on it. And as long as you all know he wasn't trying to snitch or say nothing like that, fall back from it, bruh. Right then and there, once I told you niggas they can't use that in court, like, separate yourself, gang. You can't use that hoe in court. So what you gonna say now? What's your anger towards the nigga about? I think niggas gonna use the opportunity to run with it, especially niggas who don't like Crunchy Black or niggas who don't like the South. Preferably, niggas that don't like the South is gonna bring it up because the South don't call up North niggas rats so much. I can see niggas doing it like that, but nah, it ain't that, bruh. The nigga done hopped on the interview and said Memphis niggas is running rap right now. All the names of Moneybag, yo, you know what I'm saying? Everybody he's giving. It's a whole lot of other names he gave. It's just him paying homage. It should be you young niggas paying homage to him. No disrespect to Pooh Shiesty and Big 30. Big 30, right now you should be paying homage to that man, bruh. I know he ain't put no bread in your pocket and all that, but niggas like that made a way for you Memphis niggas to do on your gangster shit. I'm all the way down here in Florida seeing this nigga just turning, turning up, bruh. Like, he's the one I like the most in 3-6 Mafia, bruh. Like, crunchy, black, and he, he cemented a black, dark-ass nigga to love himself more, bruh. I know they're going to say Jill Scott and Erica Badu, but for a hood nigga, it was country black. Nigga called himself country black. You got to fuck with a nigga like that, gang. Nigga coming out here and, and letting the game know what it was being missing. I got to love that. Now, Country Black is wild nigga. Like, that interview and everybody around him, where I would say is wild, how he admitted they burned down the club. And then he incriminated DJ Pawn, said they sent him on that mission. He said, they better leave me alone if they try to bother me for something that long ago. But Country Black, this is America now. Statues of limitations don't mean shit here, bro. They, as we learned from Bill Cosby, even though he's free, does that take away from the three and a half years he had to sit in that cell? That's years he can't get back, gang. So you got to be very careful with some of the things you say. And you being an OG, I do feel like Country Black should know better. But Country Black is feeling good again. The game done opened the doors for him again. The gatekeepers allowed him in again. He's doing like 100 interviews now. He's feeling good right now. He's like hip-hop is welcoming him back in the right way. No disrespect to DJ Pawn, Juicy J. I personally feel y'all did that man wrong. Y'all exploited a lot of these Memphis rappers. Y'all took advantage of them. And y'all ran over there to the other communities and sectors to get your bread and act like these niggas ain't never existed. We've been asking for a 3-6 Mafia album for I don't know how much years or decades now and you ain't did it yet and that tell me everything I need to know about Juicy J and DJ Paul, especially Juicy J but let me fall back from that. You know, fast forward to this, bruh but I don't think you should be talking about burning down clubs and all that, educational purpose. You tweaking out here, my nigga. But even saying Pooh Shiesty, he did it, he did it. Like, I knew what you meant, my nigga. Like, I knew what you meant to the T, but it looked crazy out here. So you just got to get prepared for a lot of dudes to be snapping and saying you are this, you are that. Real ones like me know you ain't no rat. You ain't meant it that way. But perception is everything, my nigga. You got to be careful to what you saying out here. Perception can make or break a motherfucker out here real quick, and you know it. It can make and break niggas real quick. You know this, bro. Stay safe out here is all I'm going to say, and I wish you well. Rest in peace to your daughter, and I'm going to watch every interview you do because you hella entertaining while giving a motivational message, too, because when you cry for Lord's infamous, 
Man, man, we need friends like you, bro. You said the only thing that Lord Infamous ever did wrong to me was dying on me. God damn, I almost shed a tear, my nigga. Sheesh, the only thing that Lord Infamous ever did to me was dying on me. Was dying. Bro, you a real one, Crunchy Black. And I damn sure gonna use my platform to make sure people don't misconstrue who you is and try to tarnish your street legacy, bro. At the end of the day, man, I'm I Smoke Hip Hop Live, DJ Bless One. Y'all hit that like button, hit that notification bell. Love your family, love your kids, and always stay blessed, gang.